Hi, I'm going to be making some tutorials for tech mods in Minecraft, uh, mainly because I've got some friends that will be playing along with me, and I don't really want to have to explain the same thing to them 15 times. And now with these tutorials, I only explain it like, you know, like three times. Um, I'm going to try and keep these as concise as possible um, to be respectful to your time as well as mine. So let's go ahead and get started with uh, the first mod that we're going to be learning, which is Thermal Expansion. It is one of the probably most approachable and uh, feature complete uh, tech mods that's available out there. It's most it's in almost every pack and it's in the one that I'm using as well So let's go ahead and start with that So one of the first one of the first problems that we need to solve in order to start using thermal expansion machines If I put one down right now, I have a pulverizer in my hand Which is basically a machine that will uh, take any ore that you give it say for instance iron ore and it'll crush one instance of iron ore into two dust of its same kind and you can take those two dusts and turn them into um, in fact, I could actually show you in JEI here if I hit the U button while holding over it. Um, I can, and then I go along the top and to see what it is used for in a pulverizer right here. Click that. You can see that when an iron ore is put into a pulverizer, this is its input slot, um, you can see that it is turned into two pulverized iron and then has a 10% chance of creating a pulverized nickel each time this uh, operates, every time this progress bar fills up. Uh, the problem is that this also needs 4000 RF. What is RF? RF is basically energy or electricity. It is whatever you want to call that, that equivalent for this mod. Um, we need to have some kind of way to generate energy in order to use this device, and we need to have a way to move energy into that device. So let's go ahead and start with the end here and put our pulverizer down. Now, I also have a mod, mod installed called the One Probe, which whenever you look at something gives you detailed information about it, in this case in the top left. You can see that if I look at it, um, you can see that it has zero RF, it has zero electricity. Um, if I try to put a piece of iron ore in here, I mean, I can put it in there, but it's not going to do anything. This machine does not work without power or energy. So in order to get this machine to work, we have to fill up what is called its internal buffer. Um, an internal buffer for any machine is just its own ability to store something, a, a mass quantity of something. So uh, this machine, as do almost all machines in thermal expansion, have an internal buffer for uh, electricity energy. Sorry, I'm going to be using the term redstone flux, electricity, power, and energy interchangeably, just so you're aware. So this this can hold 2,000 units of electricity inside of it, uh, of redstone flux. Okay, so how do we actually generate um, redstone flux? Uh, one of the most basic ways that we can do this is by creating something called a steam dynamo. And I'd like to point out that um, your mod pack, unless it's actually trash, probably has just enough items. So if you... If you see something in this in this tutorial that you need to make, you can just look it up in the search bar on the bottom right. So Steam Dynamo. And if you hit R while hovering over it, or left click if you're not in creative mode like I am, you will see the recipe for it. So this just takes a couple of ingots, redstone, copper gears, and then this item here. If you don't know how to craft something in here, you can actually cascade down and hit R on this thing, and it'll show you how to craft that. So from there, you can pretty much craft anything. I won't really be going over the recipe for something unless it is actually important to the progression of the tutorial. So go ahead and craft yourself a steam dynamo. Um, like a lot of things in thermal expansion, you can actually hover over them in the JEI menu and hold shift, and it'll tell you basically what it does. Um, the steam dynamo that we're making for the purpose of making electricity will generate energy as but it requires uh, water and solid fuel. So let's go ahead and put that down and investigate. So if I go ahead and take a look at the GUI for this, um, you can see that it also has an internal energy buffer and then also has a internal buffer for something else, something the zero out of 4,000 MB. Uh, if a lot of these uh, GUIs for these machines also has an I button that you can click on that gives you more detailed information about the device as well as its energy usage slash output slash storage. So like this, thing, like this device said in its description, it uses water and solid fuels to create steam and then uses that steam to generate redstone flux. So what we want to do is we want to take our wa a water bucket, bucket of water, and we're going to right click on the machine. You can see that I've just inserted 1000, uh, what is called millibuckets into the machine, into the machine. And then uh, if we want to create electricity from this, sorry, if we want to create energy from this, then we can take a piece of coal and put it in there. 
the coal will get consumed. It is now burning like it would in a furnace. And you can see that the water has, a little bit of water has been consumed and we are now gaining electricity as long as this is burning. And if I come back out, you can see with the one probe in the top left that um, the machine is now filling up its internal buffer with electricity. Okay, so we now have 24,000 redstone flux inside the Steam Dynamo's um, internal buffer. So if so, we still have a problem though because the pulverizer is not actually receiving that energy. So how can we actually direct the Steam Dynamo to the pulverizer in order to charge it? Well, this is where this item called the Crescent Hammer comes in. Despite being called the Crescent Hammer, it, it basically functions like a wrench and it looks like a wrench. I don't get tripped up by it. You can basically use the Crescent Hammer to rotate any block that you've already placed down, even blocks from vanilla Minecraft and mods as well. Uh, you'll kind of have to see what works. So if I right, we basically want to rotate the steam dynamo so that the nodule at the top, the little coil, um, points towards the pulverizer so it um, will charge the pulverizer. So let's just right click it a couple times with the Crescent Hammer. Okay, and that's the orientation that we want. It's pointing towards the pulverizer, but it still isn't getting energy. Um, and that's actually not your fault. The uh, dynamo will only, the dynamo when you rotate it has to actually update in order to know that it has to push energy. So let's just put a little bit more coal inside of it so that it um, ticks over. So, okay. So we put a little bit more energy into it and it's like, oh, I should probably move this energy to the pulverizer. And then now you can see that there's a flow of redstone flux into the pulverizer. And the pulverizer's internal buffer is now filled up with 2000 redstone flux, which means that when we put iron in there, it now works. And I figured while that's running, I may as well also explain another use of the Crescent Hammer. Uh, for almost any device in uh, thermal expansion, you can use the Crescent Hammer to um, pick it up instantly without having to break it. So if I shift, I'm holding down shift and I right click, I can pick these devices up without having to break them. That also works in survival mode. So if I'm in survival mode, I can shift right click it to instantly break it, which, you know, otherwise would not be the case. So if we come back to our pulverizer, we see it's done some work. It has taken the iron ore that we've used and turned it into pulverized iron. And if you were playing in survival, this is where you would now take advantage of your doubled resource and turn each one of those pulverized iron into one iron ingot, which is obviously doubling the efficiency of every iron ore that you want.